Despite the economic crisis, companies are willing to hire people and people are willing to do whatever they need to to get a job. And we are going to see it in here, the Energy Carrier event in Martini Plaza. Go, go, go! <laughs> Uh, the event is uh, about um, students and companies coming together so they can um, get in contact with each other. Maybe. I wouldn't go naked anywhere or do anything crazy, no. What is the craziest thing you would do to get a job? Um, crying. Crying! You will cry for a job! <laughs> yes, of course. I uh, move all the way uh, across the world to find a place where I can uh, find a proper job. Yeah. I would uh, burn the, the building or I don't know. To get a job? Crazy? Wake up at 6 in the morning? <laughs> Something else? No. No. <laughs> okay, what is the craziest thing you would do to get a job? Yeah, I could go right there on stage right now and stop the guy who's talking and scream on the microphone that uh, I want a job. You would do it now? Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I think I will lock at the door of the company and uh, sit there and said, if you not give me any job, I will not go. <laughs> what is the craziest thing you would do to get a job? This? Yeah. Okay. Good. No, I think both actually. You you need both. I think we need both. Um, a lot more from the serious people. Like crazy and creative, or uh, serious and formal. <laughs> Oh well, that's two extreme uh, comparisons, of course. I think we are looking for a bit, little bit of both. No, we need them both in, in general, and we uh, best would be if people are able to do both of them. We need bright girls and boys. Okay, so if someone wants to get a job in the future, maybe science is a good option, right? It's the best option. Maybe it's difficult to get a job, but at least we now know that both crazy and formal and serious people are needing for this. And meanwhile, I will lose the stress with this. Ah, in this crazy car. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>